and welcome back to Bodhisattva's Art of Warcraft. Today I will be discussing optimizing your computer system for World of Warcraft. For starters, let's get rid of your spammy add-ons. These are add-ons that transmit a great deal of data upstream and down from Blizzard servers, causing latency and often disconnections. First on the hit list is our beloved Recount. Recount on its own is generally not a heavy add-on, however take note of how many megabytes Recount is consuming when you are say soloing or 5 manning versus how much it consumes when you are in a 10 or 25 man raid. What's more is that the data streaming required to give Recount its information is enormous, akin to your combat log which we will discuss later. I would suggest if you must have a damage or healing meter that you download and install SCADA. SCADA allows you to tailor the amount of data affecting memory. SCADA sports segmented fights and detailed views while being highly efficient with memory. This is accomplished by aggregating data on fight segments. SCADA is entirely module. The mods are available as separate add-ons. Only the mode you load adds to the memory and CPU cycles. In other words, SCADA records data and then stores it for later access versus trying to process all data like recount or the combat log. SCADA also allows you to run only what information you want to use. If you're a healer like I am, I only run healing and the healing and absorbs module. If you're a DPSer, you can run only the DPS and damage modules. Bottom line is, I run SCADA and it never appears on my top three memory eating mods, while recount always is at the top. Secondly, let's get rid of gear score. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to compare your gear to others, but it's totally unnecessary in a raid. What's more is that any add-on that communicates with multiple sources is going to cause latency, frame rate decay, and disconnections. Have a go at the description. It's a great add-on and the dev team that did it did a wonderful and thorough job, but too thorough for raiders unfortunately. Next, let's get rid of your lib heal com file from your raid frame add-on, especially if you're a healer. Libcom can result in each healer spamming about 15k worth of data to everyone in the raid. Most other traditional raid add-on info doesn't even break 1k. So relatively speaking, lib heal com is potentially contributing to lag issues. To remove it, go to your raid frames add-on folder, whether it be grid, healbot, voodoo, etc. Find the lib heal com file and delete it. I have found that each time I update grid, I must delete this folder. Finally, as of patch 3.3.5, you will need to remove AVR, AVR encounters, and related modules, as well as update Carbonite Quest Helper, if applicable. If you are running these immediately after the patch, you noticed a considerable drop in your frame rates. Deleting AVR and updating Carbonite to version 3.34 will solve these issues. As you can see from this screenshot provided by Cadfail of Elitist Jerks, add-ons run amok can spam massive amounts of data to you and your raid mates. Now let's move on to reducing your latency by slowly walking through the process of adding a parameters command to your registry. The process is a bit laborious but well worth it. Once I'd fine-tuned my system in this way, my latency dropped as much as 50%. Step 1. Go to your Start button in Windows. Step 2. Look for the Search or Run chat box. Step 3. In the chat box, type Reg Edit. This will execute your registry editor in a new window. Step 4. Locate your H key Local Machine folder near the top of the file tree. Step 5. Expand the H key Local Machine folder and find the System folder. Step 6. Expand the System folder and find the Current Control Set folder. Step 7. Expand the Current Control folder and find the Services folder. Step 8. Expand the Services folder and find the TCPIP folder. Step 9. Expand the TCPIP folder and find the Parameters folder. Step 10. Expand the Parameters folder and find the Interfaces folder. Step 11. In the Interfaces folder you will find a number of arcane looking folders. Step 12. 
Leave that folder open for later access. Step 13. Go to your Network Internet Connection Indicator on the Windows toolbar at the lower right of your desktop. It should look like two tiny computer monitors with a blue ball between them. Step 14. Left click on the indicator and choose Network and Sharing. Step 15. On the upper left hand side of the screen under Tasks, choose Manage Network Connections. Step 16. The local area connection window will appear as an icon. Double click on that icon. Step 17. The local area connection status window will appear. Click on the first button from the top called Details. Step 18. The network connection details window will appear and from the data you see here take note of the following. Connection specific DNS server, IPv4 IP address, IPv4 subnet mask, IPv4 default gateway. You will need these numbers to match them to the proper interfaces folder which you should still have open. Step 19. Align the network connection details window with your registry interfaces folder. Step 20. Begin opening the interfaces folder and comparing the numbers from your network connection details to the numbers on each folder. Step 21. Continue the search until you find the interfaces folder that matches with your network connection details. Step 22. Once you find the matching set, right click on the right hand side of the folders window. You will see a new command appear. Step 23. The new button will expand into another menu. From this menu choose D word. Step 24. Name the new D word as follows. Step 25. Set the D word value to 1 by right clicking on the name previously indicated. Step 26. Reboot your computer.